How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to be reviewing the templates of Squarespace. So this is a series of videos where I'll be kind of getting into different avenues that give you a look into, let's say, the editor, the features, um, reviewing the ease of use with Squarespace, the templates, uh, so on and so forth. So I'm going to be starting with the templates and let's see where this goes. Before we begin, if you guys are interested in Squarespace, you will find a link uh, in which I was able to procure a discount or coupon code for you guys if you would like to try out Squarespace. Okay, now before we get into the templates, let's just cover the basics. The most recent version of Squarespace is 7.1. If you make a new website today, you'll automatically be using this latest version. Now, I recommend sticking to version 7.1 as this is the most recent version that Squarespace is uh, running. Uh, so you'll be all up to date. However, you may see a uh, mention of version 7.0 and some people still prefer to use this version. The main difference is how the templates work. In version 7.0, there are different template families, so to say, that each have unique style rules and features. You can customize these templates a lot, but if you start to dislike the underlying structure of your chosen template family, you'll have to choose a new one. On the other hand, all the templates in version 7.1 are part of the same template family, but you're offered more design freedom to the point where you won't need to switch template families in order to change the underlying structure of your template. If you want to use version 7.0, scroll down to the bottom of the template library and you'll find the option here and you will be able to access all the 7.0 uh, versions. And both versions cost exactly the same. And if you just subscribe to Squarespace, you will have access to both anyways. Now, when it comes to design, Squarespace excels. You have over a hundred of professionally designed templates. This may seem like a very small number compared to uh, Wix's 500 plus templates, but Squarespace goes for quality over quantity and it succeeds beautifully. As you can tell here, the templates are just absolutely beautiful. They look very nice. They, you know, you're able obviously to uh, check out the desktop, tablet version, and mobile version right on the go. And as you can tell, it looks great in each single version. This is where Squarespace one ups every other uh, website builder. You've got sleek, stylish, and modern designs. All of Squarespace's templates are created to meet the standards of just great design, usability, and performance. All templates are free to preview and edit, as this is included in your monthly subscription. And as you can tell, uh, the templates are really just made, even the 7.0 templates, if we just, let's say, let's go with this one and just kind of preview this. You can tell how they accentuate visual elements. It's uh, very reliant on uh, ease of use and just super, they're, they're, they're made to be very easy on the eyes uh, for everybody. Whether you're a young person, you're a child, you're an older person, it's always going to be easy on the eyes and everybody will find these templates to look just incredible, whether you're on your desktop, tablet, or even a PC, whatever device you're using it on. I like these templates because they're all really simple and easy to use. I don't get bogged down with technical gimmicks because there are none. It frees me up so that I'm able to work on what's important rather than spending time having to code and, and maybe learn code or hire a coder. I'm just able to do everything myself and it just makes things super easy. So you can just, let's say you like a certain template, you can just go uh, and you can just start with it and you will be able to edit the template and whatnot and kind of have a 14 day trial uh, where you can do whatever with your template. And if you'd like to keep it, you just have to subscribe. You can browse templates by category and industry if you'd like. Uh, as you can tell, if we just go back here, this is version 7.0, but they're all kind of, if we just go back here, let me just show you guys. There are many categories and you are able to select which category, you know, weddings, real estate, travel, art, photography, um, your yoga teacher, whatever it is, you will find one of these 100, over 100 templates, about 113 templates. You're definitely um, 
bound to find at least, you know, 10 to 20, 30 templates to your liking, and then you can pick the best one you like. All of these Squarespace templates are mobile responsive, so you don't have to worry about missing out on any mobile visitors. This is a major plus since 74% of users are more likely to return to mobile friendly websites. Now with a design customization, uh, Squarespace's templates are highly flexible. Uh, you do have, by the way, guides if you would like to kind of uh, get into the guides and whatnot. As you can tell here, you can just start with the intro video and uh, they will just tell you everything all about it. Uh, let's just uh, not show that right now. And uh, yeah, when it comes to, you are able to even create uh, new blank pages. If you don't want to uh, maybe have to edit any of this, you can simply just click here, blank page, and you will get the same template, okay? And uh, you can just put your own uh, image, put your own whatever, and just customize it exactly however you would like and just click edit here and um, let's say edit the header you know uh, logo so let's say you just want to add some kind of logo you know you put your website title here let's say just you know sample okay and you can see the changes happening in real time. You bring in a logo, just drop it in here, super easy. The templates are highly flexible, meaning you can easily make them your own. You can replace Im images, add and delete sections, enter text and manage multiple pages at once. While it's not a pure drag and drop builder, it is easy enough. You can drag certain elements around uh, and can reformat the image layout by changing your design settings. For example, by creating a collage or making images overlap. Um, however, Squarespace doesn't afford the same kind of creative control offered by, uh, for example, Wix or WordPress. And this is made on purpose so that it makes things as easy as possible. Now you can, you know, you can edit code here and there, but its editing process is more structured and you won't be able to drag elements wherever you like. Instead, you'll need to work within the template's basic layout. So while it may be a little bit restrictive, it is efficient and it gets the job done. And it's exactly what Squarespace is all about. As you can tell here, you know, you've got animations, fade, scale, slide, clip, flex, whatever it is, you know, you can kind of customize it to make it your own. And it ends up looking very slick and very nice. And you are able to customize a whole bunch of stuff. If you want to get a little bit more nuanced and just move things around. Uh, yeah, it is just a very pleasant kind of experience when it comes to making these templates. And of course, this simplicity and restriction is beneficial as in it makes it pretty hard for you to create a bad looking website. But if you have a particular design in mind, then these restrictions can become frustrating. And again, if you have some coding knowledge, you can go the extra mile and use those skills to tailor fonts, colors, and backgrounds for a truly unique style. Squarespace recommends only using custom code for more cosmetic changes like these, as trying to edit the layout of your site could have harmful effects. So be sure um, to know what you're really doing. You, you, you can't really do anything if you're not a coder. So, But even without code, you can customize fonts, colors, backgrounds, images, text, and headings. Uh, you can add pages, manage your menu structure, and more. Squarespace's aim is to help creative ideas succeed, so it makes sense for you to have the freedom to express your own style in its templates. So yeah, great stuff overall. Um, I think one of the strongest I guess selling points you could say uh, with um, Squarespace is the fact that it is in a way restrictive, but it, it is just beautifully restrictive, really. Uh, so if you are interested in Squarespace, again, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below. Uh, and uh, yeah, there are just so many things you can do, as you can tell here. So check this out. You can just add sections and whatnot. So yeah, you don't even have to uh, really move things yourself or manually you can just pick one of these and make it your own just put your own text and images and whatnot so 
yeah, great stuff overall. Uh, again, if you'd like to uh, get a full review of uh, Squarespace, you'll find the full review in the description. And again, you'll find a uh, coupon code in the description as well. I'll be sure to get the best price I can get my hands on so that you guys can hopefully save a little bit of cash. Either way, you can try out uh, the editor here for the first 14 days for free. And if you'd like to keep that um, a template, you will be able to keep it by subscribing to Squarespace. That'll be it for this video. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and see more of it. And I'll see you in the next one.